Right, we're here at GameStop in the city of, what's the city? What is this? Pico, Pico Rivera. Rivera. So for a McFarlane figure that I'm finally gonna get, even though Mike's gonna get this on Saturday, and I gotta, I gotta go there on Saturday to pick up something. So let's see, first let's take a look and see what they got. Let's see what, oh, this, is a, this is a nice little, little GameStop. What do you got, clearance section? They're not really in clearance. If you look at their price. Yeah, their clearances are only like two bucks. Whoa, whoa. If that. Games. Yeah, they got like a pop section up there. Mike Myers. Let's see. Here's some of the DC multiverse. Destiny, Cygor, some of these bad boys. Lots of pops. Lots of pops. What do you got? Anything? Nah. Oh, dude. It's right here. They got two. Grab one, bro. Huh? You might as well grab one. Oh, oh my yours? god. No, it's on hold. Oh, that's not yours? No, mine's on hold. Dude. That is nice, man. That is nice. Kind of looks like a wolf. Yeah. But let's see what comparison, like stand it. Let's see what it's what it's like next to a figure. It's, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of meaty. Nice. Yeah, it's white. Thank you. Wait, this. <laughs> no, mine. They have mine. They okay. said mine's ready for pickup. How's it going, man? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm surprised you still have man bats though. Uh, yeah, right. got some more over here. Awesome, 360. Yeah, I'll give it to you in a minute. Okay. Yeah. So cool. Undertaker. Dude, these are awesome. These are awesome. Oh, yeah. The statues. These are really cool, man. Not bad, dude. I'm surprised they had another one. So Robert got to score one, too. That's pretty dope. Anything else? Like, nothing else you need to look at here? It's crazy, like, we've been to so many Game Stops. I know. That's the you one. want that? What is it? Isn't that a dude? <laughs> <laughs> it is? Yeah. Wait, this is... Remember? That's her? Yeah, the trim. Oh, damn. That's... She, she's really knowledgeable, though, in horror movies. I actually grew, grew a liking to her because of her knowledge in toys and in horror movies. Yeah, she goes in the, Or she's in that... Point yeah, no, but she she actually really likes one of my favorite uh, zombie movies. Oh, really? Yeah, she was in a big horror YouTuber. Oh. Well, people probably know they're called Dead Meat. They didn't. They interviewed her. Yeah. Because she's a horror fanatic, so that's pretty awesome. Turn pops. You know, look over here at the legends. No X Men. Nah. That is. Sure that guy has all the. <laughs> all the what? <laughs> uh, some of them. Someone what is this, dude? What the heck? Oh, they got some new Doctor Strange ones. I mean, at least I think they're new. Yeah, that's pretty awesome, man. That's awesome. It's going for a whatnot, man. Dude, look at the artwork on the back. So I scored one, and you can see Robert over here scored one as well. Can you see the back of this? Oh, dude, these actually are on clearance now. The Eternals are 10 bucks. Remember last time they were on clearance for like $2 cheaper? Yeah, they are. Still a lot of money. Joker. Joker. So, dude, we scored. We both got one. What not today? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So, here we have Man Bat in the review station here. And let me tell you, looking at this guy is amazing. Mick Farland has done so many of the 10-inch scale figures um, for the DC Multiverse. I mean, we've got Swamp Thing, the Joker. Uh, we have, um, who else do we have? We have Clayface. And now Killer Croc. Killer Croc is available too, so I will have him this weekend. But the Man Bat figure looks amazing. I can see a little bit of a gap between the body and the, uh, the pants. So I got to see how that looks like. But look at him. Kind of reminds me of a wolf. So the side, the back has some awesome artwork. So if you are a mint on box collector, this is definitely going to be an awesome display piece for you. I love the artwork on the back. I love that McFarlane's doing that. So let's go ahead and open this up and let's see if this guy is going to be a pickup or a pass. All right, guys. So let me show you what comes with Man Bat. You get the base, standard base, and you get the cool artwork with the card and, um, Right there in the back, a little bit of a bio. So we'll bring out Man Bat. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, this guy just looks insane. I mean, yeah, he does have this problem with the soft rubber in the lower crotch area. So you can make out his belt. 
You got the cool little detailing sculptings in the pants, the little tears. You can see some of the hair popping out of there, more tears going throughout the bottom. You got the feet with like all kinds of different articulation on him. He's got the uh, claws. Are these soft rubber? No, they're not actually too soft. So that's pretty cool. He does have peg holes at the bottom of the feet. The head sculpt, like the upper body of him, it's so massive. This is what really, I want to say, sells the figure. I mean, look at the head sculpt. See how great this looks. The colors on it are really nice. The fur, all this stuff right here, just it almost looks like real fur. You have the wings, which are attached to the arms. And look at the hair. This definitely reminds me of the of the um, Bram Stoker's Dracula, Dracula scene. Do you guys remember that? I mean, McFarlane did a toy on that too. Uh, you, the wings right over here too, which look awesome. You can also see the veins, the cool little details on those. And then they are, he does have like an extra layer right here on the inside part or the under part of the arm. You can make out some more veins there. Big old upper back. And then some more of the fur, which is really nicely sculpted. And then you have his torso right here. So you can see he does have different points of articulation. He does have holes, not holes, I'm sorry, hair in the shoulders. Now, it's really cool because if you get him like in really like any kind of pose, I mean, you can see like you can get him like in a flight pose kind of right there. If you have some kind of a display base or a, uh, like a, like a, you know, one of those, um, risers or something or something that clamps on to give them like a flying pose or a fighting pose this is definitely the type of figure that you can have a whole lot of fun with with articulation or posing i guess you can say um there's the head sculpt he doesn't have articulation in the mouth but it is kind of like a soft rubber material this is a gorgeous figure this is definitely one of mcfarland's better 10 inch scale figures and his better figures that he's done lately in the dc multiverse so i'll go ahead and go over the articulation really quick as fast as i can here so he does have upper head rotation also goes up and down he's got another point of articulation right there like in the neck area he's got two points of articulation in the waist he's got the upper torso and then the lower torso he has leg legs going in and out forward and back double jointed knees upper legs kind of rotate the, the uh, lower part of the leg, this has a ball joint here, also goes up and down the whole ankle pivot, toe articulation. The arms go in and out, forward and back. A bend at the elbow. You can still bend the elbow there, even though the wings are there. You can see how it kind of separates there. No, uh, you got lower arm rotation, but no hand rotation. There's no swivel at the wrist, and that is also because you know his hand's attached to the, the wing right there. But let's go ahead and do some size comparisons. Like he's giving me some problems getting him to stand, but I'm sure if I really mess around, I can get him to stand. But here is the swamp thing next to him. Obviously, this guy towers over. We have over here Clayface, uh, another favorite figure. This is almost kind of like the same size. And then we the Titan Joker. This one is definitely going to tower over him. And then if you bring out a uh, seven inch scale McFarlane Batman, you can see the size difference and the height with that. So he is a lot taller than um, a Batman figure, your standard seven inch scale figure. And there you have it, guys. There is my review. Today, we're taking a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Deluxe Man Bat. This is a 10 out of 10 for me. Absolutely gorgeous sculpting gorgeous figure paint apps on this are fantastic i just love how this thing looks i mean even if you don't want this for a batman display it'll definitely work for a horror display this is this is the right direction for mcfarlane absolutely love this so you guys let me know in the comments down below what you think about this is this a pickup is it a pass what's your favorite 10 inch Mc or deluxe McFarlane DC Universe Multiverse figure as of now. Let me know in the comments down below. I still got to get Killer Croc. We'll see how he holds, but this is definitely a pickup, guys. It's a win in my book. So, McFarlane, doing a great job, man. And let me know if you enjoy these toy hunt slash reviews. Thumbs up the video. We'll see you soon.